Each time we came to a different part of the demonic possession, it got harder and harder. It wasn't so bad prior to the heavy makeup, but each time the demon did something, it was difficult. Your mother's in here with his cars. Would you like to leave a message? What I tried to do with The Exorcist was do a story about an ordinary street in an ordinary little town with, a, an, with an ordinary house on the corner, and everything about it is normal except upstairs there's a little girl who was possessed by the devil. I'm telling you that that thing upstairs isn't my daughter. I had interviewed over 500 girls before I found Linda Blair. She was an extraordinarily gifted natural actress. When my mother and I first read the book, I think the most important thing to remember is children don't know a lot of things about religion. So for me, I ask questions like everybody else asks. How does she jump up and down on the bed? And how do the special effects work? The power of Christ compels you! We built this set. The exterior was in Georgetown. The interior was on a sound stage in New York. And the set cost about $500,000 to build. And one morning at 4 o'clock in the morning, I got a phone call from the production manager who said, you're not going to believe this, but the whole set has burned to the ground. And what had happened was sometime during the morning hours, uh, the, this set mysteriously burned to the ground. They never figured out what happened. We had to rebuild the set. We had to shut the picture down for three months and rebuild the entire set. I thought you were supposed to be an expert. There are no experts. I think that The Exorcist is, is um, an incredible film. You have, number one, an incredible novel, screenplay. Billy Freakin, who directed the film, he had the vision. He knew what he wanted to do, the acting. Ellen Burstyn, her performance. If you did not believe her, you would never have felt any sympathy for me. Have you ever heard of exorcism? It became very strange, very strange. A lot of things that happened in connection with the film that were as inexplicable as the events depicted in the film. We had a priest who, who came on the set periodically and would exercise the set. And then and things would go well for a while, for a month or so, and then there would be something extraordinarily weird happen again. Where's Reagan? In here with us. When The Exorcist came out, it was a lot of people that it unnerved. And I think they felt some kind of connection to me. So out of respect, and Warner Brothers was, was kind enough to make sure that I had constant protection. I'm appreciative that they were responsible to, to make sure that my safety was in order. It's just one of those things, this kind of film is going to bring out some different personalities in people, and uh, they want to read something different into the project. It was, it was hard, but it's okay. Oh, it burns! If you look at the film very carefully, there's the possibility that everyone involved is kind of a victim of mass hysteria. Uh, who, they're just overwrought by their inability to cope with this illness. So it, it's very um, possible, in my mind, having made The Exorcist, that it is not necessarily about demonic possession. The film, to me, is more about the mystery of faith. It is he who commands you! As difficult as the film was to make, it's something I'm very, very proud of.